This is the Getting Started with GameLift series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how GameLift places game sessions. Let's get to it. And welcome back to the Getting Started with Game Lift series. Uh, I'm Derek. With me still is Al. And Al, we had talked in a, a very briefly in a previous segment about how Game Lift allows us to connect players together with the lowest amount of latency. How would we do that when we have players in regions, you know, across the world? So yes, yeah, so we have multiple regions. We need to decide which regions place players in. So we're going to use a queue to do that, and the queue is going to decide for us. So just to preface here, here's our original fleet, and here's our original alias. And to that, uh, we also, I have created in a different region, another fleet mm -hmm. and another alias. And so we're gonna go and create a, uh, create a queue for those to decide, well, we're just gonna, for argument's sake, put our queue in uh, our main region here, and we're going to add one. Uh, so, uh, just one possible option is we're going to choose according to some static decision here. Okay. So w if we just uh, go ahead and put the uh, US West 2 uh, fleet in there, we use the alias to determine it. That way we can update our software still. So this is the current fleet. We're going to do that. And also we'll add another one uh, in the US East 1 region. And that was the uh, using the alias as well for the. US East 1 fleet. And so now we have a static preference where we're going to pick the US 2, uh, West 2 over US East 1. Mm -hmm. And I can switch those around, and that's changed the order of them. And we'll always use this if there's, um, if there's uh, availability on that fleet, and if there's not, we'll fail over to this one. Now, we can do better than that because let's say that we have players that are nearer to US East 1. We want those to play in this fleet to get them lower latency. Mm -hmm. And US West 2, if we have players that are nearer to that fleet, we want to give those people the lowest latency, which will be a different fleet. So we're going to add a latency policy. And what we're really doing here is we're telling the queue, try and get the game so that the average latency is less than 150 seconds, or for all player latencies is less than 150 milliseconds. Let's say that's the, the worst tolerance for our game. Actually, I'm, 250 might be a better amount. Now that's still not gonna be the best uh, necessarily uh, possibility, but it's better than uh, not getting a game at all. So we can also try and get a better uh, latency where possible, uh, if, that's, uh, if that's possible right at the very outset. So we might try for something like an 80 milliseconds. Oh, let's try it for, for uh, 10 seconds, trying to find a region where the latency is less than 80 milliseconds. So this is a much better game, and if we can achieve that, then so much the better. Now, once we start adding latency policies and providing latency data, now the algorithm for selecting these changes, it's gonna choose the best fleet for those players based on the latency data that we provide to them within the acceptable bounds that we've set for our latency policy. And so now we've done that, we we'll just give the queue a name, and this is regional selection. And uh, we will go ahead and create that queue. And that's, that's now uh, the uh, queue can be used. So when we create a game, we'll create it in that queue, and then it'll create the game session and apply it to one or other fleets. I see. So Using queues, we're able to connect players to the lowest latency session available. Is that sort of the, the main purpose or the, or the only function that we can get out of queues? Well, there's, there's more than that. Uh, there's good reasons to have multiple fleets in each individual region mm -hmm. as well. So in the case, uh, for example, and let's go and look at our dashboard here, uh, we've uh, got a spot instant or spot fleet set up. Mm -hmm. So this spot fleet, whilst there's availability in there, is probably a lot cheaper than the equivalent fleet at uh, version in the same software version for on-demand pricing. So what we would do is, and we can combine these, uh, we can combine these ideas. But for simplicity, I'm going to create a different queue, and this queue is uh, uh, is price selection. And then we're going to now use the same. Uh, uh, destination selection, mm -hmm. 
to choose the aliases in the uh, US West one region. So this is not doing um, this is not doing per se region selection at the moment, but we can now choose to have players in uh, uh, this region or players in this queue go to the current spot fleet if it's available and the current on-demand fleet if it's not. And so by that method, we're going to get the cheapest price. Now, again, there's nothing to stop us from having uh, added latency data to right. this. And if you add latency data, it'll find the most appropriate region. And then once it's found the most appropriate region, it'll select the cheapest fleet in that region. And uh, that uh, can be subject to these player latency policies again. And uh, again, with, uh, with, uh, with a queue, now we can select that queue mm -hmm. and use that to place games for just this region or combine the two ideas and place them the lowest cost, best location, best region. I see. So queues really give us the power to not only control ha the latency that players have when connecting to games, but also serve as a, a cost control measure for us as theoretical studios. Yes, we're going to make all our decisions on where to place a game session by placing them in a queue. And if there's no availability on any of the destination mm -hmm. fleets there, it, the, the, the queue can hold a game for a period uh, up till that timeout, which was 600 seconds, right. if you recall, 10 minutes, uh, before it gives up trying to, to place that game. So eventually there will become space on one or other of those fleets, right. even if they're fully at capacity. Ideally, we're going to try and maintain a capacity over that. Mm -hmm. um, but if we can't, then the, the queue can also hold the games until there is availability there. I see. Well, that that sounds that sounds like a, an almost a, a best fit solution for uh, high quality gameplay and also making sure that that we're getting the best price available. Make sure that people are in the in the right region and at the best Absolutely. price for the developer. Absolutely. Well, Al, you have laid down a lot of knowledge on us today. I want to thank you very much for coming out and thank you. Uh, bringing some learning. And I hope you all enjoyed the uh, the content. Uh, we hope to bring you some more soon. So stick around on this channel, and uh, we'll be releasing more content just as soon as we can make it. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. If you like this series, leave a comment below and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates.